We start with news that former President Pakana has been arrested. The Seoul Central District Court announced its ruling at slightly after 3 a.m. Korea time. Some four hours ago, she's been detained on a slew of charges, including bribery, abuse of power, coercion, and leaking government secrets. Pak becomes the third former South Korean president to be arrested, and if found guilty, she could find herself serving many, many years behind bars. Let's start at Seoul's detention center located in Uiwang, Gyeonggi-do province, Pak's new home for the foreseeable future. Our Shin Semin is there for us. Semin, what's the atmosphere like there now? Are we seeing any massive protests from Pak's supporters like the ones that we've seen around her private res residence recently? Yes, she had the current mood here in front of the Seoul's detention center is rather calm, especially compared to a couple of hours ago when the former disgraced President Park Geun-hye had arrived at around 4:45 a.m. That is a little over two hours ago, and when she arrived, she was driven to pass through some of the a group of a die-hard pro Park supporters uh, asserting her innocence as well as those, although in smaller number, in support of the court's decision to issue an arrest warrant against her. Now, the level of security has been reduced somewhat since her arrival, and we're seeing less activity outside the facility at this hour. And like you said, this place is going to be the former president's new reality for up to 20 days. And after that period, she will be presented with formal charges of bribery, abuse of power, coercion, and leaking government secrets that could see her jailed for at least 10 years, perhaps even longer. Mm. Remarkable scenes as uh, the former president was driven inside, uh, looking visibly tired and anxious. Uh, Semin, tell us more about what Pak will go through at Seoul Detention Center. Will she receive any special treatment as the former leader? That's right. It's fair to say that Pak is now through her life of comfort starting today. And as with a lot of the suspects being brought here, she will go through or has already gone through a medical checkup, a process deemed extremely embarrassing. And that's a necessary step as the guards here need to go through and check on the suspects being brought here to make sure that they don't have any items that they're not supposed to. And once she's done with that process, she will change her clothes into a prison uniform uh, be, and which she will be then transferred to her individual solitary cell and in terms of the size of the solitary cell she it'll be equal to that of the prison cells assigned to the past former president who had also served some jail time which is larger than the usual six and a half square meters and just like anyone else entering she will be stripped off of all her personal belongings and will only be given a simple toiletries, a blanket and, and tablewares for her meals. And here at the facility center, Puck will lead her life based on rules and guidelines, such as getting up at 6.30 a.m. and lights out at 9 p.m. sharp. And she will only be allowed a limited number of visitors a day, but she will be allowed unlimited access to her lawyers as she prepares for some of the follow-up investigations by the state prosecutors. Now, and these rules are also being followed by a number of other once powerful figures who got mixed up in this influence peddling scandal. Now they are Samsung's de facto boss Lee Jae-yong, the woman at the heart of the entire scandal, Choi soon shil and her niece Chang Shi-ho, and Choi's close associate Chan Tech, the ex-presidential chief of staff Kim Ki-chun and the former culture minister Cho yun sun um, who are all ready jailed here at the facility. And the Korea Correctional Site says that although they are involved in the same influence peddling scandal, uh, they will not be allowed any contact while being held at the facility. Jihae.